Hey beautiful people, I'm back with another Love Island review episode we're looking at last night. Again, the aftermath and the aftershock of Joanna being dumped and Michael being a salty sour grape and our girl Amber being dumped again <laughs> and quite brutally. We're looking at what happened after all of that. So let's get into this review. But let me shut my windows first because it's loud AF outside. Okay guys, so we saw at the start of the episode that Amber pulled Ovi for a chat um, after the whole Michael thing. I thought it was quite telling that out of everybody in that villa, Ovi was the one that she wanted to confide in. And I think he just gave her really good advice, like you have to know and learn who is for you and be prepared to walk away. I think he's just trying to tell her, look, Michael, <laughs> you need to let that situation go and that's good advice, you know, like... Yeah, really, really good advice. But I thought that was quite telling. And then later on in the episode, again, we saw Ovi go and pull Michael for a chat and completely have Amber's back. And I loved, loved that. I love seeing the way their friendship has really developed. It seems like they're 1,000% there for each other. You know, Ovi, <laughs> my guy looking all sexy in that orange, you know. Yes, so really nice to see. Um, we did see things kind of kick off a little bit between what's her name, Maura and Amber, Amber really felt like none of the girls really had her back after riding her up and getting her all like, you know, how dare Michael talk to me like that, because that's what Maura kept saying, how dare Michael talk to her like that, you know, how dare he tell her to sit down like a dog and whatnot, Amber felt like although she's had a lot of people's backs in that villa, they didn't really have hers, but I would completely get what Maura was saying was that you didn't stand up for yourself if you if she stood up for herself it would have probably been a lot easier for the girls to come in and be like no Michael you're bang out of order what Amber's saying is right but if Amber's not even going to stand up for herself it makes it a lot harder for the girls to jump in and be like no 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 no, no like what are you doing you know so I completely get where Maura is coming from and I really feel like Amber should have been the one who stood up for herself, who pulled Michael for a chat and was like, look, I'm done with you speaking to me like that. Um, but unfortunately, that's not really what happened, but they did have that conversation later on in the day. I did think, again, Molly shit stirring a bit when Maura pulled Amber for a chat and she's like, oh God, it's about to kick off. Um, yeah, definitely looking at Molly quite a bit sideways now. It seems like mm, homegirl may not have the best intentions now that we're getting closer and closer to the final. It seems like she's got her eye on the prize and anybody who looks like they're in competition for that, you know, she needs to like cause a bit of drama, cause a bit of shit stirring. That's just the vibe that I'm getting from her at the minute. But Amber's conversation with Maura, it went really well. I feel like both ladies took the higher ground. They realised that they can't really let their friendship, you know, become tainted or have issues over a guy. I like the fact that they both apologised to each other and they hugged it out. But the impression that I really got from that fight was that Amber wasn't really that angry that, you know, Maura didn't have her back against Michael in the sense that like, she didn't stick up for her or stand up for her. I feel like she was probably a bit more mad about the fact that Maura was the most vocal about giving Michael another shot and letting him know how she felt and Maura was the most vocal about Michael not being interested in Joanna and Michael looking miserable. Maura was kind of the one that talked Amber up to confessing her feelings to Michael. So once it all went wrong, I feel like Amber was like, <laughs> this is all your fault you've made me look like an absolute idiot so I feel like that was probably what she was a bit more mad about than that the girls didn't stick up for her because in all truth she didn't really stick up for herself in the episode we heard Amber say that she's been holding herself back because in the outside world she would never have let Michael get away with saying what he said and I really just felt like his manipulations have really worked they've gotten into her head she's so scared of appearing childish that you know she does doesn't want to kick off she doesn't want to stand up for herself she doesn't want to be that angry black female I think she's really worried about that and I think she just needs to chuck that away because we've seen Maura lose her shit several times we've seen Joanna lose her ish you know and Amber really deserves to kick off the way Michael has really been treating her but you can see in her head that she's second-guessing herself she's scared of like you know 
allowing him to be right she feels like she can't be herself anymore because he's criticized who she is so much and i think that's always a dangerous situation to find yourself in where somebody has convinced you um that you're a bad person i've been in that situation you know where they've convinced you that you're a bad person and then you start to believe it you start to doubt yourself you start to question yourself and she knows she's not a bad person but it's just like she's just like i don't know what to do because if i do this he'll interpret it as me being this if i do that then i'll look like that and I think it's just a shame amber girl stick up for yourself kick off do what you gotta do when mike michael was talking to ovi and ovi was pulling him up on his bullshit and michael said that the reason he told amber to sit down because he was concerned about her feet in those high heels i was like michael you've had the whole night the whole night to think about an excuse to justify your terrible behavior and the best you could come up with was that you were concerned about amber's shoes or her feet really so you disrespected the girl because you were worried about if her feet were hurting her you treated her like a dog sit down sit down I'm like, nah, homie, you really, you, you really thought we were going to buy that? Yeah, yeah, you thought you were going to sell that? Bless him, my man's a joker. Look, put your hands up, own up, that like, you know, you're rude, you know. And he did kind of do that later on when him and Amber went for a chat. I really felt like, you know, Amber said what she had to say. Like, look, I'm done with the whole you and Joanna thing. I've accepted it. But every time you speak to me, you speak out of anger. You make me feel bad. And I know it's because of what's happened. Because you never, when she says, you never used to make me feel like this. You never used to make me, you know, upset every time you... I speak to you I was like oh my god that's so truthful that's so honest like he needs to hear it and then when she started crying and Michael got up and left who else thought nah homie you ain't gonna walk away from our girl and <laughs> she's crying <laughs> who else thought you little demon child how dare you leave her when she's crying but then he came back with tissues and I was like oh wow okay skin <laughs> calm down Mimi you don't have to kill the boy just yet so he came back with tissues and he was able to apologize and just own up to it and it's the first time since every all of this happened that he has been able to take any responsibility for his actions and just say I think I'm taking out a lot of my frustrations on you thank you thank you thank you thank you because this girl has done nothing to you it seems like since joanna's gone it's not even been 24 hours at that point that jo joanna had gone but the spell has slowly started to like you know lift or something i don't know if joanna did juju on that boy but it seems like he's getting some of his senses back we ain't forgiving him anytime soon but i can at least rate the fact that he can finally accept some modicum of responsibility for his actions like he needs to do a lot better apology wise but at least that was a start and i think that's going to go a, a really long way between healing the bridge healing the gap between him and amber um okay rest of the episode so we've got two new girls in the villa and they took both Chris and Ovi out on a date. I don't really remember their names. Neither of them are anything special. Um, the only name I remember was Harley because she took my boyfriend Ovi on a date and I was like, you're trying to get some hands put on you, girl. But the vibe I was getting, you guys let me know as well if you were getting this vibe, that Ovi was just not interested. You know when someone's just making polite conversation, but he was just looking at her like, nah, you're not for me. I don't think she's his type. Um, she was kind of put her best flirt game forward but I don't think that's a match I'm sure homeboy would rather stick with Amber you know in the friendship couple than give that a shot please Ovi do not f up the bag please stick with Amber can somebody go in there and let him know how popular him and Amber are please let that happen Lord Jesus don't let Harley break up my balls <laughs> okay and then the other couple nobody cares about average but they might actually make it work because Chris has had no love so I'm sure a little bit of attention will probably go to his head and then end of the episode we see that the new guy Gary has pulled Amber for a date in the hideaway I feel like 
ITV and Love Island, which trying to like, make it out like Amber's luck is finally about to turn. But all that smiling they showed of her um, coming up in tonight's episode, I just feel like actually that's the other way around. We know that Amber laughs and smiles when she's in an awkward situation. And I feel that was more of an awkward smile. Like, I don't know what to do. You know what I expected. Damn, not another terrible day. You know, Gary looked quite attractive until he opened his mouth and then I was like, oh. That's, that's not really gonna work is it that's not really gonna work he seems quite good looking none of the tattoos that amber keeps saying that she wants i did kind of want her to give it a go and just put herself out there again and you know the best way to get over a breakup is to you know keep it moving find somebody new who's going to give you attention especially because before she had to watch michael and joanna crack on while she was single so i feel like the perfect justice is them having to watch her or michael having to now watch her crack on now that he's single um but i don't think that Gary is gonna flow Amber's boat but I will be happy to see her you know at least get to know him but ultimate end goal can she and Ovi just get it done let's get it done let's get it done so that's my review guys it seems like the bridge is finally being built between Amber and Michael maybe they will you know reach a, a nice happy chill place where it's not drama drama all the time but yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen there. Um, I'm really still rooting for Ovi and my girl Amber. I think strong couples are starting to emerge that are going to give Tommy and Molly the run for their money. I think Anton is a firm favourite outside of the villa. Him and Belle definitely have a chance. Um, and I also think Anna and Jordan, although they're not really public... Um, popular with the public I think they're also starting to emerge as a strong couple we saw them going to the hideaway I think they've done the do now um, but yeah that's it I'm Amy with Justin we hope you enjoyed my review we're looking good we're feeling good